are you all ready as we're going to be going into the winter semis match this is a gigantic one i mean both sets are ridiculous i want to try to get you guys different players here on the stream uh since we haven't seen titans nor sword here since i was uh i knew sword was gonna be making it this kind of far so i, I try to avoid him so yeah we're gonna be getting both of these competitors here uh jack does have the other amazing players as well like i mean it, it's just nuts it's gonna be the run back of enhanced versus hydro we already saw that here on stream i'm sure jack and Atrono are going to be in for a great time because man that last set for between them was amazing so just remember though uh so what's going to be happening here is on this side we're going to be sword and cytonics the winner of this is going to go move on to winners finals and we're going to have that here on stream after that the loser of enhanced versus hydro will stay on will stay on stream on jack stream to go up against nine super pie all righty homies yo i told you man you guys are getting spoiled today with so many uh, so much amazing matches like it's just nuts it's just nuts all right what you guys want to do so i mean i should be playing some uh some street fighter music but you know what we can't have no bias this year i mean it is a and g's home turf though cytonics being the lone defender of the a and g crew unfortunately blue jay and cobra drowning in pools which is very surprising considering how amazing they are but it was just very unfortunate yeah sebai sebai has dq guys i don't know what to say it's definitely a mixed feeling you're like you know a lot of people don't necessarily like mr game and watch but seba has been just so amazing and consistent throughout this whole season and to see him go right at the end definitely definitely a bit saddening definitely a bit saddening to see him go uh just a dq right there right at the end he's right at the end here in the P pr playoffs man he made it so far up to the top eight and he opts to dq it always hurts to see a good player go like that but yes, we are going to be seeing our very own Cytonics versus an amazing player, Sword. Both of these guys, I mean, we've seen them before here on stream. They're incredible. This match is going to be super hype. You're not going to be let, yo, you're not going to be disappointed with what you see. Nah, you screwed up, George. That's your problem for not joining enough events. Get bopped, my dude. And we're going to get started here straight into Smashville. And we're going to be seeing what Saitanas can bring to the table. He's having a breakout performance. He has just been improving. Ridiculously maddening over and over and over again. Just hanging in there with the big boys. He's opting to make this year his year. Versus a, a player like Sword. Who is definitely one of the best on Wi-Fi coming here. With a lot of pressure with that up air all day. Good mix up right there with the cross up. Unfortunately, couldn't get the follow up with the down tilt. And now Sword pushing right there. Cytonic almost getting the two frame dunk. Would have lost that stock. He opts to go for the focus attack, but Sword is not having any of it. Neutral B to come out right there from Sword. Definitely a surprise. It's something new that we see from him. Sword trying to keep him away. Cytonic won't be able to make it back. Great stuff there from Sword, who is taking the early lead. Fastball into the upper to the neutral area. Remember, Cytonics making it this far here in SOS PR had to take out Sebaye, number one on the PR. Very amazing upset he pulled off. But now he is up against another juggernaut, the one and only player who has been able to consistently beat Sebaye. Now we're going to have to show you on the top right there in the platform. Cytonics is going to do a great job to even it out. Two stocks apiece down tilt but we don't roll into those boys rolls them off again and you're gonna see the usual setup right there from prom they love to do that to jer so you see that at the left you see the jab man you know it's over luckily those satanks was able to live it and now sword right there with five jabs in a row he's looking for it because he knows that is the ticket but instead he gets the right hit with the forward air unfortunately though satanks did not follow up with his usual shenanigans and sword's gonna make it back onto the stage very safely Sword looks for an opportunity. He went for it, and that timing is very close. Sai, though, is being able to land in there, gets in there, but he's not following up with anything that he usually could land with. He is respecting Sword, and there you go. This is it that we see, and a quick 81% off the Sword, who now has to 
struggling right there at the ropes, gets back onto the stage, and now trying to find some stage control in mid. We've seen Sora be able to switch it up very, very quickly from being super aggressive to super passive, and he finds it and switches it up super quickly yet again to be able to land that fastball back here. Gets the parry right there on that forward air. Let's see what's going to be happening here. Makes it onto the stage. He is going to push him away there. 118% if Sai can find a way to end this stock without getting a hit, but he does get hit with the jab right down to the ledge. And he's going to be able to clean it up, landing it right there. Let's take a look to see where even out, my dudes. He gets a quick 38%. Titanix is looking super hungry with the DI up to get out of that, that narrow hit, hit streak. Can he do it? The Tatsu gets onto the stage but gets punished. Zordo trying to mix them up, but he gets hit with the up tilt, and Sai has the chance right here, but he's not going to land it. He misses with the Shoryu right there, but it's possible that it would have gone fallen off. Sai is trying to take it, trying to get it upset to see with the first game. Remember the last time that these two competitors faced off against each other, it was a close game three, but Sword was the one to come out victorious. He gets the raw Shoryu, and Sai will be taking the first game. I know y'all homies be hyped about that one. Titanix is on a tear right now as it looks like he's trying to just tear it up through all the top seeds of the PR tournament. Craziness to come out there. Oh man. Yo, super hype boys. Super hype stuff. You're going to be seeing that with a raw shore you to get it all there. Titanix. Trying to make, yo, he's trying to hold it down for the ANG crew on their home turf right here. But Sword has lost game one to Cytonics before, and we saw how that ended. He will be trying to make the adjustments needed to continue on in this set. It is a best of five, so he still needs to take at least two more games. And against a player of Sword caliber, that is not easy to do. Ready? Hope you're all enjoying the action. I know, I know we got like Genesis and everything, all these other amazing events but you know what you're here and it's great that you're enjoying our event you know what to do spread the word homies we put a lot of work into this so i want to see, make sure we got ourselves a pretty decent amount of people witnessing the talent that we have here in our own community now we're going to go into yoshi's story which you know could be proving very fatal for both of these players and both of these characters they definitely hit super hard let's see what sai could do trying to go with the combo very good with the forward air right there but couldn't get the follow up and sword mixing it up super nicely but sai is not having any of it as he's going to continue on his tournament and trying to get the wrong you right there very surprised i wonder if that would have gotten the kill he gets the forward smash with the read he is popping off right now, folks. Cytonix is going off right here. He's taking names. Sword, not knowing what he can do about this, is already taking 56%. Are we witnessing the birth of a top player right now to set the stage? He has been such a, a menace in crew battles. You have seen it. He gets a Shoryu, and we're going to get another stock taken away. This match is definitely not lasting long, as we're just here... Only past the first minute. He tried to focus attack out of that. Very good read from Sword with that very courageous up smash to take that first stop. Trying to cross up here with the neutral air. Slapping it away with the forward air. Hitting it up right there with the nice combos. And nice, oh, I love that Sword just combining so many of his attacks to be able to get some decent strings. Cytonx is already at 50, but you know what happens if you land into the Ken Shield? You're not safe, you're gonna be eating it up. And now Sword trying, digging super deep to get that. Cytonx will be eating some better percentage, but slap with that forward smash. Wow, I don't know how Sword saw that from a mile away. What a crazy read. And now we're both at one stock. But both of these characters though, are able to kill early and have a lot of combos. What are we gonna see? Will Cytonix be able to take a 2-0 lead? Does he have a jump? Yes, he does. Luckily for him, that was a very scary situation. Slap the way, forward smash away. Is Sword gonna turn the situation around? Does he have the jump? He does not, and Sword robs the second game away from Cytonic. That's the thing about him. That's the kind of caliber player that Sword is, no matter what dire the situation. You know how it be.
That was nuts, man. How are you not entertained? Let me tell you. If you're not, how are you not entertained? The ledge guard was beautiful right there to come out from sword. Simply great gameplay to be able to deal with such a torment that Cytonix has been doing, just tearing through it. And this is such a repeat of the last time that we saw these two competitors here at SOS. I think that was chapter 28. We saw Cytonix take the first game very dominantly. We saw Cytonix also taking a very early dominant lead in the second game. And we saw Sword turn the situation around. And then from there, Sword ran away with the rest of the set. And now we're going to be going to PS2. This is a best of five this time around. The last time these two competitors met, it was for a top eight qualifier best of three. Will this be the additional game that Cytonix needed? Can he take out his bracket demon? Good to slap it away. Cytonix throwing him off the stage right here. So we're out here with numerous combos, slapping it up right now. He's looking a little bit on fire, and this match is so much closer than it was the last time around. That raw Shoryu, though, not going to be enough. Percentages are so close. I like that he opted to up smash 7 to Shoryu. And that was a little bit of a dangerous situation in Sword. Going, falling all the way at the top. We'll be taking that stock away. Titan is trying to find a way if he can break that shield. That sword, though. Uh, luckily, his jump not still thrown away by that Hadouken. Nice little down tilt, but now Saitan is unfortunately losing the lead, and now it's going to be his turn this time around to have to turn the situation around and, and get the comeback going. Sword was able to be successful with that in the last game. Will Saitonis be able to turn the situation around? Or is Sword going to continue running with it? Misplacing that jab and that hurt box being extended is going to be eating that there from Saitonix. Nice little side B. And there we come with the nice little combos right here. And Saitonix is trying to quickly turn this around. Even up the percentages. Very good focus attack to get out of the situation. One of the great best implementations of Saitama's recent gameplay was the focus attack to use for movement. And he's been doing so good with that to mix up his opponents. And he's continuing this pressure right now. Man, this is one of the most ridiculous matches we've had so far. But that Jer, no, he's not going to connect with the sword. But the forward tilt will as he went inside. And now Saitama is down to his last stock here in game three. Up is for days though, coming out as we're getting the focus attacks to be hidden super hard. What is Cytonis going to be able to do? And there comes the jab. Let's see if he slaps it away. No, unfortunately missed it. Another forward there coming out there. He was looking for the raw Shoryu. Maybe even try to take out an early stock. Focus attack though, but no, he saw that sword was out of range. Couldn't go and connect with it. That would have been a free stock. Sword though, very good stuff. Utilizing his frame data, knowing that Chrom's got a lot of quick attack. It'll land to the shield, bait him out, but it won't matter this time around as Cytonix is going to be able to clean up that stock. And now, will he be able to do what Sword did in the last game and steal a win away? So putting so much pressure, knowing that he wants to get the jump in to get those combos. Cytonix being very patient, has to show the respect right here for Sword. He gets it. But he gets his own, and that is going to be it. No, we're going to be seeing side limit. And he gets a focus attack, and he gets right through it. This is the, this is the moment Saitonk's going to use. This is a blessing. Can he get it? He throws Sword off the stage. Has to respect him, land him on the stage. Almost gets the Jair, I mean the back air. And he gets the short. And he's gonna steal the win away. Oh man, yo, Cytonics turning the situation around. I knew I'd win. Ha. Yo, damn, are y'all watching this? This is crazy. This be crazy. This time around, we saw a sword steal game two away from Cytonics, and now. Cytonix returning the favor for him. He's like, yo, take that. I wonder how it feels. It sucks, don't it? It sucks, don't it?
And it looks like these two competitors are going to go straight into the next match with Psychonics one game away to go into winner's finals. What do you all think about this one? Rainbow Yosh, thank you so much for chilling so much in the stream today. I hope you're enjoying all the amazing action that come out of SOS. Since the top 16 are finest right here throughout the whole season. Cytonics obviously having quite the breakout performance this season with a 58% right there on Sword. Sword obviously being one of the most notorious, very well established Wi-Fi players. We have so many legends here in today's tournament, including Enhanced PV and uh, Hydra that are on Jack's stream. I don't know how that set is going so far, but I know the last time I saw it was ridiculous. And now Cytonics destroying Sword's first stock. And we're only at 24%, but we have seen Sword in this situation before. And like you're seeing right there, he is able to just respond so quickly with all these amazing menacing combos. Cytonics did such a good job, he was actually going for the forward smash, realizing that Cytonics likes to air dodge in to get away from the situation. Good tech there, because you know he wants to look for the forward smash, which he's going to be able to get this time around. Cytonics though, still trying to get in here. Sword only at 66%, he was able to turn that situation around super quickly. What an incredible winner semi finals that we're having right here. I'm sure this is going to be spelling trouble for anybody that wins and makes it into winner's finals. The level of competition in this tournament, there has not been a single match that has just been, you know, like, everything's just been amazing. And Cytonics going to be coming in super quickly right there. Cleaning that one up. He has soared one stock away from his tournament life here. Sorry, no, he does have loose bracket. I'm sorry, but we could have Cytonics try to pull off an upset. There you go, makes it on there, so it gives him the respect. He doesn't want to take as much damage, but it's too late for him because unfortunately getting hit by that Tatsu into the down tilt. And throws him off to the stage with a nice quick Hadoken, but Sword slaps it away. Charging up that force match, he's gonna go in there with the reverse back here. He was looking to go ahead with that quick gimp, maybe expecting Cyclonix not to see that. He's still only at 49%, it's still a pretty healthy percent, but that sure you it's gonna connect with some very hefty damage and may not get the kill, but it definitely gets the heavy punishment needed. Back here, right there, but he's got Tatsu right away. Very good use of that, but unfortunately, that focus tag pushed him too far under, and that's gonna be a pineapple. And we are here, one stock apiece, and now Sword looking to do it twice. Will he also be able to steal game four? Or are we gonna see Cytonics moving on to winner's finals where it matters? Big money on the line that will guarantee him into the money. He gets hit with the up beat. Can he make it? Yes, he does. The magic hands from Prom to get onto the stage. Cytonix playing very patiently. The fallout from the Shoryu. And now Sword exploding all over. Crazy combos, crazy aggression. Man, are you watching this at home? Do you see this? I know we got Genesis going on, but Wi-Fi's got its talents too. And we have ourselves such an incredible match here unfolding. It is now starting to get super close. We're sort of trying to do his best. He almost gets the kill there. Side gets onto the stage. Be able to shield it in time. Can he get that forward smash? Gets the parry right there. Who's looking for the roll in? The down tilt. Do you know what that usually means? And unfortunately, jumping in and sword repeats it yet again. Going one more time, toe to toe, stealing another victory. This whole set has been unfolding the same way, where they just keep stealing victory away. And now let's take a look right here. He had it. Cytonics had it. And unfortunately, Sword doing what he's done so many times. Oh, wait, I put the wrong replay. Ah, but that was still a clean one. Ah, I wanted to see what he stole away. But regardless, though, it's okay. I'm sure y'all enjoy the action there. Cytonics has to take a breather. Has to understand what's on the line here. He's in position to do a great upset. Put himself in winner's finals. Guaranteed top three in the money. Will he be able to do it? Ready? Or is Sword going to be clutching this one out? What do you all think there in the chat, my dudes? What do you all think? I'm 
I want to hear from all of you. We're going to go to Lilac Cruise. And you might be wondering, why is he doing that? Because the thing is, sometimes you want to try to make your opponent as uncomfortable as possible. Lilac Cruise also doing such a great stage to go up against Sorties. That up B, there's this time though Sword recognizing that's going to be a lost battle. He needs to roll in. Cytonics. Very good. Good read on there, but unfortunately couldn't get the punch that he wanted. That could have been the stock. And now, unfortunately, Sword is just all over them. Super quickly has been able to even out this match and he gets the first stock what a beautiful play to come out of sword neutral air into neutral air and he's following up all the attacks it's just being a menace right now man i wonder if the other winner sammy zp has nuts as this i know jack and h no are into a treat because that was also nuts but this is some crazy stuff right here game five both of these players pretty much showing they, they are all worth winners finals Good cross up does follow up and Cytonic's even it out. Only 49%. Gets the read on that, gets the grab, and a lot of succession of these up airs to hit there. So 73%. The Cytonix has his own combos. Unfortunately, he dashed back just a little bit too much. One dash was enough to get there in range to follow up his own attacks. Getting slapped away off the stage. Both these players recognize it right here. You know, Sword, knowing that Brom. Easily could be defeating Sakon off the stage. Gets the cross up into the combos. Cleaning it up right there. 78% super quickly. Sakon's returning the favor of what we saw there in that first stock. And just like that, it is now anybody's game yet again with the raw shore. You to eat it up. This is nuts. Oh my god, what a set. What a set that we are having. What a way to be any SOS. And now with the Hadokens into the Hadokens. Good cross up to combos, 58% on Sword. Is he looking for it? He has 89%. Sword this time is down by quite a lot. What is he gonna do? As he is at 89%, can he reverse this as he's done so many times? But it's down a whole stock. And there, no, it's not gonna be the game ending just yet. Sword still living. He's able to dash it, extend dash into the forward tilt. I watch in anticipation because he breaks the shield and he's gonna win the game. And that is gonna be it, Cytonix. We'll be moving on to winner's finals. Not only does he get one, what, one victory there on Sebae, but he's also able to claim the W right there on Sword, playing super clean. What an upset. Cytonix is now in the money, and we're going to be seeing the game ender right here where Cytonix comes out victorious. He hasn't respected it, and there's nothing Sword could do about it because he's going to have to eat that up. And there's the W. Damn. Oof. Yo. Yo. What a match. What a match. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a match. What a match. What a match. Damn. Woof. All right. You all know there's also another set happening here. I think I just saw the enhanced and, uh, Hydra also went to game 5. I mean, I am not surprised, honestly. The last set that they had there in the Swiss round. Oh, man. Those guys were popping off. They were super close. And now we're going to be seeing Cytonix right here. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be a winner's, winner's finals. So, I'm going to 